Good morning to you on this Friday the 5th of March in our season of Lent uh, for morning prayer. Lovely that you've joined us. My name's Reverend Jo Richards, Rector here in Canterbury of St Dunstan, St Mildred's and St Peter's. So welcome. So as we gather together for worship this morning, O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. A song of penitence. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night is past, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our appointed psalm for today is Psalm 40, and the refrain is, Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me out of the roaring pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my foot upon a rock and made my footing sure. He has put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed are the one who trusts the Lord, who does not turn to the proud and follow a lie. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. How great your designs for us. There is none that can be compared with you. If I were to proclaim them and tell of them, they would be more than I am able to express. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but my ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sacrifice for sin you have not required. Then said I, lo, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me, that I should do your will, O oh my God. I delight to do it. Your law is within my heart. I have declared your righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips, and that, O oh Lord, you know. Your righteousness I have not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and truth from the great congregation. Do not withhold your compassion from me, O Lord. Let your love and your faithfulness always preserve me. For innumerable troubles have come about me. My sins have overtaken me so that I cannot look up. There are more in number than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them be driven back and put to shame who wish me evil. Let those who heap insults upon me 
be desolate because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your salvation say always, the Lord is great. Though I am poor and needy, the Lord cares for me. You are my helper and my deliverer. O oh God, O oh my God, make no delay. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our reading today is again from the book of Jeremiah, and today it's chapter 10 and it's verses 1 to 16. Hear the Lord. Hear the word that the Lord speaks to you, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord. Do not learn the way of the nations or be dismayed by the signs of the heavens, for the nations are dismayed at them. For the customs of the peoples are false. A tree from the forest is cut down and worked with an axe by the hands of an artisan. People deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with hammer and nails so that it cannot move. Their idols are like scarecrows in a cucumber field, and they cannot speak. They have yet to be carried, for they cannot walk. Do not be afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, nor is it them to do good. There is none like you, O Lord. You are great, and your name is great in might. Who would not fear you, O King of the nations? For that is your due among all the wise ones of the nations and in all their kingdoms there is no one like you they are both stupid and foolish the instruction given by idols is no better than wood beaten silver is brought that brought from tarish and gold from Uphaz. they are the work of the artisan in the hands of the goldsmith their clothing is blue and purple they are all the product of skilled workers. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and the everlasting King. All his wrath, the earth quakes and the nations cannot endure his indignation. Thus shall you say to them, the gods who did not make the heavens and the earth shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens. It is he who made the earth by his power who established the world by his wisdom and by his understanding stretched out the heavens. When he utters his voice, there is tumult of waters in the heavens and he makes a mist rise from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings for the rain and he brings out of the wind from his storehouses. Everyone is stupid and without knowledge. Goldsmiths are all but put to shame by their idols, for their images are false, and there is no breath in them. They are worthless, a work of delusion. At the time of their punishment, they shall perish. Not like these is the Lord, the portion of Jacob, for he is the one who formed all things, and Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. And now for our canticle. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you have made heaven and earth in all their glory. All things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are our God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness or repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities, and now I bend the knee of my heart before you imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O oh God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me, according to your great mercy. 
for the host of heaven sings your praise and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Our second reading today is again from John's Gospel and it is chapter 7 and today it's verses 14 to 24. About the middle of the festival, Jesus went up into the temple and began to teach. The Jews were astonished at this, saying, How does this man have such learning when he has never been taught? Then Jesus answered them, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. Anyone who resolves to do the will of God will know whether the teaching is from God or from whether I am speaking on my own. Those who speak on their own seek their own glory, but the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true, and there is nothing false in him. Did not Moses give you the law, yet none of you keeps the law? Why are you looking for an opportunity to kill me? The crowds answered, you have a demon. Who is trying to kill you? Jesus answered them, I performed one work and all of you are astonished. Moses gave you circumcision. It is, of course, not from Moses, but from the patriarchs. And you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath in order that the law of Moses may not be broken, are you angry with me because I healed a man's body on the Sabbath? Do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. And now for our responsory. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love. They are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. And now for our Gospel Canticle, the Benedictus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come together in prayer this morning, we pray for the day that lies ahead. As I take another funeral, I pray particularly for the funeral, the family of those who've had to wait for some time. We pray for them, keeping on hearts and minds all those folk who've been working at the crematoria for this busy period 
And we continue to pray for our funeral directors, giving thanks for all the work that they are doing. For what meetings we may have or perhaps chance opportunity of bumping into somebody in the street. Whatever this day holds, O oh Lord, we lift it to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our world at this time. We pray particularly for the people of Myanmar, for the family of that young teenager who was killed on the street. We just pray for them at this time. And we continue to hold before you, O oh Lord, the people of Yemen. Particularly as so many are going without food. And we give thanks for so many agencies on the ground that are helping to support. We continue to pray for all those who are in refugee camps at this time. Those camps in Turkey and in Greece. Again, we give thanks for those charities that are working on the ground at a grassroots level. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to this, this day to pray for our church. We pray for Justin, our Archbishop, Rose, our Bishop, and for all the work that she's doing at this difficult and busy time for joe our archdeacon mark our area dean and for all those who minister to others be lay ordained the ministry of picking up the phone and saying how are you the ministry of offering a smile to someone the ministry maybe of writing a letter, an email, and praying for one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray at this time also for our schools and our young people as they prepare to receive all their children back on Monday. For all that work that is involved in testing all the young people. We pray for those who may be feeling anxious or afraid. For those also who are looking forward to seeing their friends again. We just pray that all will be well. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray at this time for all those on our benefits prayer sheet, for all those who at this time have asked for prayer, for those who are struggling in body, mind or spirit. And in a moment of quiet, we name them on our hearts, O oh Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as We've mentioned before, O oh Lord, we pray for all those who are preparing for funerals at this time. For all who are mourning the loss of loved ones. And for all whose anniversaries of death falls at this, on this day. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And our collect for today. Almighty God, you show to those who are in error the light of your truth, that they may return to the way of righteousness. Grant to all those who are admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion, that they may reject those things that are contrary to their profession, and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and all those that you love and pray for, for this day and always. Amen. Thank you as ever for joining us this morning and for your comments. It's always good to know that we're worshipping together. Please do join us if you can. Lenten Reflection 5.30, Night Prayer at 6 at the end of today. On Sunday, we have our 10 o'clock Eucharist that would be live streamed. Please do join that uh, via our website, www.dunstonmildredpeter.org.uk. But wherever you are this day, please do keep safe, keep well, keep connected and keep praying. And wherever you are, have a good day. Bye now.